Hello and welcome to our sustainable journey. This is Steve. Today, our chickens that we got, oh my gosh, like a month ago, I think, um, they've outgrown the brooder that we had them in. Um, they've, they've, they're probably 10 times as big as they were when we got them. Um, it just feels that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the coop ready and we need to get it painted. We need to repair some of it. Um, and then I may have time to do some water collection system stuff, but I don't know that I will. Um, and then we'll, we'll get it going. Um, we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done and we start moving the chickens in. All right, stay tuned. Just clean it up a little bit. I replaced that cover. So I just put a tarp on there until we can have time to paint it. Um, but you can see it needs a little bit of work. So I'm going to pull off some of the stuff so we can paint around it. Um, these little signs. I love the signs. But we want to pull them off so we don't get paint on them. So we'll paint the coop. Or we'll remove the stuff, paint the coop. And that'll be our little chore this week. So I'm going to remove some of the hardware. There's stuff that we don't want to get paint on. Maybe repair some of the stuff you can see, like the fencing underneath. Because when you build a chicken coop, stuff likes to get in there and eat your chickens. And so you need to put wiring, um, like a hardware cloth or something. Chicken wire isn't really ideal, but something a little bit more durable than that. Um, around, under, all over it so that nothing can get in weasels foxes whatever else um we've got neighborhood dogs that might eat the chickens um because they're tasty it's the same reason you and i eat them so we want to protect them so i'll do some repair work there as well um while steph and the girls will paint the coop so we've gotten all the hardware off of the outside I'm gonna need to replace that board um, and now we're gonna give it one more washing we washed it last weekend but it doesn't hurt to do it again because it rained this last week so there's still a little bit of dirt around the around the edges um, so we'll power wash it one more time and then we'll let it dry and then it'll be ready to paint this afternoon when it's a little bit warmer. And we're not freezing our butts off. So now we have one coat of paint of the beige around the entire 
chicken coop. It doesn't look like we'll need any more. We'll have a couple spots that we'll probably have to touch up once we do the gutters and we um, start putting the fencing in. But next up, once this dries a bit more, we will start doing the red molding and we will then start working on the doors that we have over here the cover for the window that we have over here and of course the new um nesting box cover that steve and i believe gwen made oh and josie and daphne i'm sorry i was not i did not partake in that so we'll have that finished up and we will show you more as we get to those steps let's see the completed coop it's been painted everything has been put back except the signs we're going to change them um a little bit but they did Steph and the girls painted it it looks fantastic um i'm really happy with the way everything turned out i mean it looks they did an awesome job right looks brand new um so on the inside what we have is our feeder, which I'll show you guys how we built that in one of these videos, but essentially it's just PVC um, in a bucket. That way they have access to food at all times. And then our watering, um, little nipples underneath. Um, so we'll see, this is just kind of a temporary thing for the next maybe week or two um, until we can get up our rain collection tote which is actually sitting right there and i need to put gutters on so i'm going to put some gutters on here and then have the tote i think somewhere over here that way it's not blocking the door because we're going to have both both gutters feed into it so we'll put it somewhere in here i think um and that'll collect rainwater and then it will feed into something on the inside of the coop so, or and outside, I'll probably do one on each end, um, so that they have ready access to water at all times. So now that everything is all set up, oh, and the heat lamp, that's gonna last maybe 24 hours the way it is. Um, I want them acclimated and to know where the heat lamp is. So because it's similar to what they have in the router right now. Um, but we're going to get different ones for the coop and those will, I'll put those in either tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yeah, that's just a temporary thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of the chicks and get them moved in here. Um, cause they are more than ready. You can see in just a few short weeks time, these guys have gotten huge and they can actually get out of this. Um, and so what we're going to do is move them over to the coop. You can see actually some of them have their feather, their tail feathers coming in. These Rhode Island Reds, you can see those three. Um, they're getting big. So we're going to grab some and move them over to the coop. Here we go. Ooh. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Come on. There you go. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hey. Ooh. There you go. There we go. There you go. See? That wasn't so bad. Now, I'll let you guys get acclimated to your new home. Okay. We'll light up. Maybe I'll open up the windows a little bit so you guys get some fresh air while you get comfy. All right, so that is going to do it for us at our sustainable journey. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, click the thumbs up. And if you're new here, 
click the subscribe button. We have lots of videos of life on the farm here. Um, lots of videos on worms. And uh, we'll, we'll get them up as often as we possibly can. All right. Thanks for watching.